Ushirika with Alex Chamwada. Welcome. Today we are focusing on Kipsigis Highlands Multipurpose Cooperative Society, a society that was founded in 2010. It is in the business of growing, collecting and processing green leaf. Tea farming is among the main sources of livelihood in Bomet and Kiricho counties with the cooperative movement playing a key role in the value chain and value addition. Kipsigis Highlands Multipurpose Cooperative Society, whose vision is to empower tea farmers and other stakeholders, is a key catalyst in the sector. It owns a factory that is located in Konoin constituency in Bomet County, but it collects tea from outgrowers found in both Bomet and Kericho counties. We have a nucleus farm of 1,100 acres, which is able to give us between 30 to 40,000 kilograms of green leaf per day. Apart from our nuclear farm, we have outgrowers about 8,000 and above who supply us with green leaf between 30 to 40,000 per day, and we continue to register them because we need more. When the cooperative was formed in 2010, one of its priorities was to acquire land. Two years later, it acquired 600 hectares of land with developed tea estate from James Finlay's Kenya Limited. This farm came into offer for sale in the year 2010. So the shareholders were able to contribute 108 million. The amount required was 425 million. So our partner cooperative bank gave us 325 million, which enabled us to buy this farm because it was a condition that we need to pay the seller full amount of 425 million. They gave us a good loan at the manageable rates, which are very competitive, and we've been able to pay those. So when we completed repaying the loan, we now went for another loan of 400 million to build the factory, of which we've now started repaying the loan. We appreciate the cooperation we have with the Cooperative Bank because they are our strategic partners. The far we are now is because of the shareholders and Cooperative Bank. The factory, which started operations in 2019, has two processing lines. One dedicated to tea from the farm owned by the cooperative and the other line is for processing tea from outgrowers. We receive 60 to 70 tons per day. That's now the actual green leaf we receive daily. But uh, the factory is capable of producing up to 80 tons per day. We ship 71 tons per week which translates to three trailer loads of 27 tons per day of shipment. But when you come down, we ship every two days, there's a container going to Mombasa. In our profile of buyers, the major player is the Pakistani, and we have the Egyptians and the UK. The farmers are actually the shareholders, and uh, we source our tea from the neighborhood. And most of those people who supply us with this green leaf are members. But even others who are not members, they supply us with green leaf. The other stakeholders are cooperative members. Sinendet Tea Multipurpose Cooperative Society, Mao Tea Multipurpose Cooperative Society, Chepchabas Farmers Cooperative Society, Finlay's Outgrowers Group, Kimbilio Daima Sako, and Thai Group Limited. This was a wise investment. We have paid dividends, I think, six times, and the highest we paid was 33% per share. And uh, that is almost the highest in the whole country. For about uh, five times, we have paid what we call the dividends to shareholders. And we paid the first one, it was about 20%. We came the second one, it was about 35%. And then we went to 10%. This year, we are paying at the rate of 8%. Our asset base is worth 1.2 billion 
Kenya shillings. 450 was actually the land purchase, and then the tea is about 750 million. The society has employed about 400 permanent employees and Cooperative Bank of Kenya continues to play a key role in the society's growth. The bank is also able to offer other services like uh, training services for the, for the board, for the staff and also the outgrowth, individual financing or even employees grow themselves uh, in terms of getting asset financing, mortgages for housing and quite a number of other facilities. At the moment we have a standing a facility of about 500,000 US dollars, which is a standing supply chain finance that keep on revolving. That is the equivalent of 50 million shillings. So you can see that every month they're able to pay the, the farmers by first of every month because of that facility, because they blend their own funds, plus now using part of this facility, ensuring that farmers are paid on time. Last year they gave us what we call the, an overdraft facility of up to 20 million because of pandemic to be able to meet other costs, especially on supplies of other things apart from home materials. Courtesy of these facilities of Cooperative Bank, we are now financially stable. We as Cooperative Bank have been very deliberate in supporting agriculture value chains development and the whole aspect of agriculture value addition. So we look at the agriculture value chain in its entirety and we're able then to see where the gaps are as a bank. From production, we look at how do farmers access inputs and we're able to see what are the challenges of accessing inputs, what are the challenges of accessing logistics, of transporting the agriculture commodities to either the factories or to the market and we're able to address that gap. When we come to value addition itself, once the commodity has been then uh, produced or done value addition, how does it get to the market and we're able to discuss with what we call the off-takers and create a market ecosystem for the agriculture commodity and be able to mitigate the gaps that are in there. David Chomo is one of the tea farmers whose livelihoods depend on the Kipsigis Highlands Multipurpose Cooperative Society. He's been growing tea for 20 years, but he started getting better pay when he joined the society. Sisi na tumia kitogo na unausa kitogo. Na yako na mpaka ambayo na, na, na usa tena. Hata mekusaitia sana kwa mana ta, asa zaai measa kuchenga nyumba pamane. Lili Ruto is another happy farmer. University. <laughs> Wow, what an impact, and those are fruits of Oshirika. Now, that's all we had time for today. Be sure to join us again next time for another inspiring Oshirika story. From Bomet, I'm Alex Chamada, and many thanks for watching.